All right, today we'll be tightening the chain on a Honda 1981 185S. And this should be the same on any 185S and most 200s. And it's super simple. All you need is a ratchet, a 17 millimeter socket, and a 12 millimeter socket. Tightening the chain on these bikes is super simple and really quick. So if you haven't if you have one of those one of the ones where the seat and the plastic all come off as one piece, go ahead and take that off. It'll make it a little bit easier. And you can get right down here to the chain. It's got way too much slack in it. So I'll show you how to fix that. Okay. There's four bolts in this back axle housing. One Right here at the top, on each side, and one at the bottom on each side, right there and right there. So, the first thing we gotta do is just loosen those up a little bit. You don't have to have them all the way out, because if you take them all the way out, your axle's coming out. This whole housing and everything just comes right out. And it's kind of hard to get back in sometimes. Don't take them all the way out, just loosen them up, loosen them up a little bit. And... It, the, if you haven't, if it, you just got the bike and it hasn't been tightened in a long time or you don't know how long it's been, it's best to wait a while and spray them regularly with some, like every day with some PV blaster or some WD-40, some sort of penetrating oil. It'll work them threads, work in them threads and it'll break it loose easier because those will ring off pretty easy. So you gotta be careful of that. So you take your ratchet, your 17 millimeter, and just fit it over there. And turn it. I'd already broke this one loose, so it wasn't that tight. Don't have to loosen it and take it up, take it out all the way. Just loosen it up pretty good. And do that. Um, all four bolts. After you get that all loosened up, you can take, you can see this stud with the nut on it. You just take your 12 millimeter deep and fit it over that stud. And just turn it. And you can see the chain tightening up. And to go a good bit more. That's about how much slack you want. About three quarters of an inch up and down is pretty good. You measure it on the top and with the bike in neutral. So once you get it tightened how you want it, you just take your ratchet and tighten these four bolts back up and what you can do I did this with my bike you can take and get some never seize or anti seize and take each one of the bolts out one at a time don't take two, any more than one at a time out just take them all the way out and never seize them and that will help with it to make it easier to break them loose and get them out next time you do it so, it's pretty simple. You don't have to get these super tight because they will ring off pretty easy. Just about like that. Just get them tight. You can't leave them too loose because if, if you don't get them tight enough, then your chain will get loose and your chain will come off. I learned that from experience. So pretty simple and easy to do if you have the right tools you can also use a wrench for the any of them but any of the bolts but I think it's easier to use a socket and a ratchet so if you don't have that you can just use a wrench and you got to be careful because they'll break off pretty easy if it hasn't been done in a while so